$300 microphone versus $30 microphone. Let's see how they compare. DelicateBeats.com Welcome back guys, JT here for DelicateBeats.com and today I'm reviewing the Fifine K669 USB microphone. The guys at Fifine were kind enough to send me a free unit for uh, review to show you guys what this little thing is capable of. And uh, because I've had this USB mic for several years now and I was very, very happy with its performance, I was all the more curious as to how a $30 microphone would perform against this one right here. So this is not gonna be any type of scientific analysis. Uh, it's just gonna be me going off of feeling, recording a bunch of voices, uh, you know, podcast type vocals and maybe song vocals. And uh, we're just gonna try to figure out if this little guy right here sounds good. So here's the box the microphone came in and uh, let's open it up together. So in here we find little cool bookmark, I guess, and uh, the user's guide. And uh, this is supposedly a very plug and play mic, so we're not gonna use this. We're just gonna plug it and see how easily we can record something into, say, Ableton Live. So uh, good protection here on the mic, I like that. And um, so here we have little stand. Feel very strong, it's a good metal part here, solid plastic, and these seem to Grip very tightly on uh, this wooden surface here, so I'm pleased with that. And uh, let's see the mic itself. So as I've seen on other reviews, the cord is actually attached to the mic. And um, while I really liked the fact that you can you can actually unplug it from the Apogee mic. Um, at least since it's uh, tied to the mic, it's a very long cable. I'd say uh, six feet long. So that's uh, very very good because obviously you don't want to be, you know, glued to your uh, computer while recording a podcast or uh, you know some gaming streams or tutorials. Um, now the clamp here moves very freely around. Personally, I would have liked something that uh, would have probably been a bit tighter around the mic because uh, once it's on its little stand right here, it can very, very easily, you know, turn around. And since this is a cardioid mic, meaning that it, uh, it uh, receive sounds only from the front. It really blocks sounds coming from the rear. Uh, if you're not you know, paying attention as to what direction the mic is in when you're recording, it could have some adverse effects. But I guess there is uh, you know, a, a reason for this. And uh, once we start working with it, we'll see how much of a nuisance, nuisance, you guys tell me in the comments below how we pronounce that word, I'm sorry. Um, but other than that, I mean, the mic is heavy. It feels very, very of great quality. I really like the black matte finish on this metal here. And um, the little, little pot here feels very good. Uh, you know, runs smoothly around, along the whole, you know, range here uh, for the volume. And, um, while I feel this plastic clamp here could have been maybe a bit sturdier, uh, we'll see how again it performs once it's, it's all mounted on this little stand here. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it folks. So let's now plug the mic in the computer and let's start testing just how good it sounds. All right, so this is the setup I'm going to be working with 
to compare the two mics. As you can see, they're at the same height. They're, therefore, they're going to be at the same distance from my mouth when I talk or sing. Obviously, it's going to be difficult to have the exact same input level on each mic, but I'm going to carefully uh, adjust the volume knob on each of the mics to get somewhat of the same volume. So uh, let's start recording. All right, so here we are in Ableton Live, and I've recorded my voice twice, once with the Apogee mic and once with the uh, the Fifine mic, and it's just really me talking with my normal speaking voice. So let's listen to both clips, and then I'll give you my um, verdict on uh, what I like on each of the mics and what I don't like. So the Fine Fine first. This is my regular speaking voice. And now the Apogee. This is my regular speaking voice. So to me, real quick, right off the bat, I prefer the Fifine. And I'm shocked actually to say this uh, because I was expecting quite the contrary actually. I was expecting my Apogee mic to sound like the Fifine and vice versa. Um, the Apogee has a bit more body, so if we mute both tracks and just look at the frequency spectrum here, you'll see that there's kind of a bigger bump um, around 400. It goes a bit higher sometimes, it peaks a bit higher, but it's very, very similar. The biggest difference to me is the boost that the Fifine has around 2K, and it makes it way better for for vocals basically i know that the apogee you know um in the marketing says that it's also a great mic to record real instruments today i'm not going to do real instruments i don't have an acoustic guitar right here so it's not the best but uh for vocals i think the five fine wins it at least for normal speaking voice we'll see later for for sung vocals but um and also i felt like the apogee had more sibilance it seems to be peaking pretty much at the same uh, height and same frequency. There's a bit of a peak here around 7K on the Fifine, but I, obviously I would DS both recordings if I were to use those, but I feel like overall like Fifine just wins it for me. The clarity is so much better and overall the body and you know the air on the recording is uh, is just a bit more pleasing to my ear actually obviously this is tainted because i'm listening only to right now on uh, the akg uh, k702s but these are my main reference tools when it comes to mixing and uh, and recording so i trust them a lot all right now let's record some singing okay so now i've recorded vocals in ableton live with both mics let's compare the recordings first the fifine California knows how to party. California knows how to party. And the Apogee. California knows how to party. California knows how to party. So for sung vocals, I feel like I like certain things better on the Apogee mic this time. First of all, the, the richness and the body uh, on the vocals is a bit better. Um, we also get a little, little bit more, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit less of, you know, the room noise, stuff like the metronome in my uh, headphones. So that's a plus. Obviously, there's more clarity on the Fifine. I think that's where the Fifine shines. 2K, you know, really the, the, the voice range. But if I were to record a singer, I would probably use both and figure out which, ones, which one complements the singer better. Uh, but this is a tougher call. I feel like I would probably use the Apogee more for, for singers and maybe like the Fifine more for a podcast. So let's just compare real quick without listening um, to the actual recordings. Let's look at what's happening on this frequency spectrum here. So 
So it's very similar. I feel like there's a bit more, you know, low end on the, the Apogee. That's that might be where some of the richness, quote unquote, uh, comes from. And you would probably have to EQ that out uh, if you were to mix these vocals. And then there's a bit more air, a bit more 10K here on the Apogee. Other than that, it's very, very similar. Um, maybe a bit more. Right, let me see here. It's very very similar. I think I think it, the the Apogee just have a bit more bass. So if that's the sound you're going for for vocals, um, the Apogee is the clear choice. But in terms of clarity, I still have to give it to the Fifine. So this was my review, guys. Um, I really liked the mic. All right. So picking a mic is very much a matter of personal taste. Uh, today, the way I felt. Uh, what I heard from the recordings, I, I gave the Fifine an edge. I thought that especially for the price point, and obviously budget is very important when picking a mic, I thought that for $30, the quality that you get is just insane. Um, by the way, Fifine hasn't paid me to say that. I just am a new fan with what I've tried today. I'm very impressed. Um, there are some issues, you know, with the build, the way the clamp is um, very loose around the mic. I really don't like that. I wish that they could make it just a bit um, tighter. So at least you can keep the same position when you turn the mic around. Um, the, the cord being, you know, stuck to the mic is kind of a, an issue. The, the cord is long enough for most you know, uses, but for me personally, it might not make it as my main, you know, tutorial slash YouTube mic because even though it's six feet, it's just not long enough to go around my output desk. So for now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use it. Obviously, I'm going to keep it. Don't get me wrong. But uh, with that being said, I think for the budget and the performance, the Fifine wins. And then if you have three to four to five hundred dollars to put on a USB mic, the newer Apogees might be very, very nice. Um, I know that they have, I think, a compressor now on it, so that might be worth checking out. So on this note, thank you for uh, bearing with me on this long tirade about the two mics. I hope you found it helpful. Um, hopefully you've listened to the uh, entire review on some good monitors or some in some good headphones because otherwise you won't really hear any uh, difference. But uh, yeah, so enough of that. My name is JT for DelicateBeats.com. I thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, uh, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, use the comments below. And on this note, I wish you a very, very productive and creative day. All right, peace out.